Uh, but don't you think that's like uh, an emergency trust fund? Like she, <laughs> it's not like she's not going to bring out the money when there's a serious matter, but she just knew that these are trivial issues that you can deal with. You are the man. Go and sort it out. But one thing I know is like women, all of them have the same character. Yeah, women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's they have this. It's like they have one WhatsApp group that all of them. <laughs> <laughs> they have this character that they can never, as in, accept that they have money, even if their account is one trillion naira. Hello, everyone. You're welcome to our very first uh, season of the Now That You're Married podcast. It's my pleasure to have this podcast with um, guys that I will say I have spent most of my life with. These guys here, they are, we've done so many things together. But because of the purpose that we are actually talking about marriage, we're just going to talk about some of the part that concerns marriage and leave the other part for of the cameras. So my immediate right here, I have um, my co-host. He's going to be here with me most of the time, um, Mr. Benjamin. I will have so many things to say about him, but since he's here, let him say for himself. So yeah, hello, 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 hello. How, how are you guys doing? And because of camera, you did form gentleness. <laughs> no, nah, no, that's not it. <laughs> okay, to my immediate left, I have uh, somebody I would like to address as Sashizi. Sashizi is the only person that has Sa without being a knight. It's not knighted, but it's Sa. Just to keep <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sashizi, okay. please say hello to my people. Yeah, hello, viewers. Thanks for having us here. All right, so to my extreme left, I have um, the one and only Emeka, the person I call Drive. There's a story behind why we call him Drive. We'll talk about that some other time. So, Drive, say hello to the people. Hi, people. Nice to be here. Okay, uh, I haven't said all that. I think it's only right that I introduce myself to I am Chuko Emeka Victor Amechi. And uh, just because we are friends, you can just make it short and call me Vic Talk. They say I like to talk, but I'm not sure that's, I think they, they're lying on me. So the question today is, what are those things that you wish you knew before now? Those things you wish you know that um, if you are going to get into marriage today, it's going to form a different opinion about you. Those things that if you can unknow or renew or try to readjust, what are those things that will have formed your decision about marriage today? About who you're getting married to, how you get married or how you stay married? Is there any? I would like Mr. Benjamin to talk to us. <laughs> See, don't mind this guy just leads. Nah, he has so many fire <laughs> Alright, this one will be easy question, kind of, but um hmm. uh, things I, I wish I knew. You know, we're in Nigeria and uh, to be very honest with you, uh, if I would actually pick anything, I would say I wish I'd, I I knew that in Nigeria here, as a married uh, person, you know, as a man, you're going to be playing a whole lot of roles, you know. Gone are those days, uh, you know, <clears throat> the times of our mommy and daddy, when you say your mommy go to market every time, you know, do this one with, that, with the uh, kind of current uh, marriages we're having now, you know, the man is actually doing a whole lot paying school fees and all that so i i wish i had known all this uh earlier i would have done, done some kind of financial you know so are you thinking you're not going push, to pay push, school push, fees yeah. <laughs> my brother <laughs> see, uh, what this guy in, 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 see uh, unlike then you know those those time now when, uh, you can actually see in, in those uh, uh, eras of when your dad you can boldly be telling your mom uh, my mom uh, i don't get money i don't get money try and you know and some women will just rally around and you know try to do but in this yeah. era they'll be telling you you are the man of the house you have to you know it looks as if there's this kind of a uh, you know or, or on upgrade due, on you know like upgrade that. on <laughs> on the men now you know Damn, so yeah. uh, and it looks kind of a uh, so surprising. in other words the man is playing too the many roles, playing too too many many roles. And, and and the ladies feel they are in a you know, entitled. They, are, they are entitled and their part is just to you know come give birth and you know relax or try to help you to take care of yeah, but, them but don't you think uh, i don't know <laughs> I, i'm not married like i said so I, i'm <laughs> going to dream of listening but don't you think that's what their role is most time just to come and help give birth uh like sometimes when they do some other thing it becomes an extra uh, yeah like even like okay we are christians and you know the bible called them helpmates okay you know? so if uh being an helpmate uh, uh, you are just there to help and sometimes you know you have some capacities to do more why don't 
Understand. This guy is trying but to. Mo- most times you are trying to redefine help. You, you, know, you know, if but, mo- <laughs> <laughs> but most times you know, if you are going to help, so <laughs> you are going to do the work and it's going to help whatever you are doing. But well, let's not do it so much right. on you, right? Okay. Um, Emeka, what do you think now? Ah, uh, okay. So just like what he said, yeah, um, things I would have known or I would have been informed about if um, if I had known. You know, getting married. Yeah. I think for me is how to settle issues. Yeah, because most of the times, as men, we tend to not bend the our e- rules. The yeah, the whole ego yeah, thing. Exactly, but mm. marriage will humble you. So you're trying to say <laughs> so you're uh, <laughs> Victor, you know now. Nah. <laughs> you know. So, okay, let's leave an example now. Um, we we're coming for this podcast, right? Okay. Me and my wife, and she made an error, mm-hmm. but made me apologize for the error. Right? You know she will hear this, but this yes, story. now I yeah, saying she made an error. No, she made an error. <laughs> we know she made an error. Me, I apologize for, peace for, for the error she made. Yeah. So, that, so that's the thing. So, it one thing about it is it prepares you mentally, even if you are not prepared. Mm-hmm. You understand? It prepares you mentally because yeah, so if you don't do it, I said maybe you want to get married. I married in December, and then we say by January you are divorced if if you don't do that because by virtue of you being a man, you being human, being a, I don't even think it has to do anything with um, being a Christian, Christian or a just Muslim. about you being just, ready for yes, it. Yes, yes, just about you. So you have to be able to prepare yourself, even if you're not ready. Mentally. that these things are going to happen and these things are going to what are these things are going to occur how do you handle that because if you say that for everything you want to be the man be the man oh okay, you know you you man nothing <laughs> so you man nothing for everything you want to be the man you just cover that you are just in a relationship all by yourself you're just being the man there yeah, the wife is no if longer you're not there. even careful if you're not even careful your own family will turn against you Mm-hmm. For being yes, the man. For being the man. <laughs> no, when you mean your own family, like your the family you've built, you and your wife, or your own family, like okay, your so, siblings. So, you know, by virtue of marriage, when you get married, you're married to both families. So now the family, family unites to become one. Big yes. Family. So your own family. I'm talking of your own father, your own mother that birthed you, that you you lived with, coming out, and you say you want to get married. They might even what is it called? Go against you because they have gotten especially, especially, especially if your father and your mother love your wife. Uh, but yeah, there is nothing you are going to do. You cannot win any battle. You cannot win any battle. Yeah. So they are already against you. So there's some things that I would want to do. When I remember that, ah, my my mother is closer. I don't. There's some things I don't know that I find out from my wife about my mom. Uh. That's how it works. Okay, I think um, if I've heard this much from you guys, you are really putting me on the hot seat now for people like us <laughs> and I'm married. Well, let's hear from our, uh, if he's in church, who says daddy in the Lord. Yes. As far as uh, married matter is concerned, let's hear from our daddy in the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has been married <laughs> since forever. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> just seven years married. Just seven, ah, seven years. Seven years is not just. Do you know when I saw that big <laughs> Seven years ago, I don't know, man. Seven years, I'm going eight this year. Seven years ago, seven years ago, so uh, need to drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. It's not easy. So he's our senior colleague. Yes. Our senior, our senior, our very senior. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to add to uh, what Ben said. You know, our fathers then, because I remember um, in the village when there is no food, you can easily go to farm. Uh, we have egg the cocoa yam. You can go and pluck uh, coconut, mix it with dairy. And drink it like that. That time we don't know what is sugar. Life is sweet. Life is sweet on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when you eat those things, you'll be as in field and go your way. But you know, I never believe that ah, one day my children can stay like this and say, Daddy, I want to eat bread and we don't have money. I never mm-hmm. think such a thing can happen. You understand? So that you look at yourself and one day say, when I'm not, I've not, I'm not, I mean, I'm single. You have money in your account, and when you marry, because of responsibilities, huh. you know, you buy gas now. You can't stay at home. Your so you now look like you're irresponsible, not like you're exactly. not really saving, exactly. but just exactly. some. You you buy gas. If some of us that are using prepare in the house, DSTV at home, huh. 
There's some things, you know. And sometimes some of the our, our wives they will have money, but they will keep it. They always have money. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about that. Looking at you, right? You know, you are the man of the house. You have to do it. You understand that kind of thing? You know, even you will sometimes you will say, okay, give me some cash. I will see. I, I don't have money. I don't. But you see something will happen, and you see she. Will, so emergency will yeah, happen. You see, you bring her money. They want yeah, But don't you think that's like uh, an emergency trust fund? Like she. <laughs> It's not like she's not going to bring out the money when there's a serious matter, but she just knew that these are trivial issues that you can deal with. You are the man, go and sort it out. But one thing I know is like women, all of them have the same character. Yeah, women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's they have this. It's like they have one WhatsApp group that have <laughs> they have this character that they can never, as in, accept that they have money, even if their account is one trillion naira, they can never accept. But they want that man to do that thing. You know, you do this one, you do this one, you do this one. Except maybe the man has said, oh, ah, no, this one. I. Just because of that mentality of you are the man of the house. Yes, and just, it, just it, line, it wasn't like that. Just in line with this, uh, just um, for a little commercial. There's someone that told me that um, the wife, he borrowed the wife, the wife borrowed him money. Mm. Like let's say let's just use some figure okay, like five hundred. Okay, okay let, let me. The wife bought okay. in money five hundred, okay. and they went out. He spent about a thousand for the wife. Still bought something for the wife, and later the wife is asking him how far the five hundred that I borrowed you. I'm like, what we just spent? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, you know, uh, um, then when I was when I, before I okay immediately I got married, um, I I was learning this handrail work. Okay, then so I started going. Traveling to yeah, traveling to especially especially in Anambra State to do those work. When I come back, immediately they pay me. I would just maybe if, if I get like two hundred k, I'll just remove like twenty or thirty thousand and give the manager. You know, they, they are managers. Yes. Uh-huh. I'll give her the money to keep. Oh yeah. So when she uh, she would start using the money, but because maybe there are some things she would not want to. Even uh, there's something you ask, um, please, can you give me money from that when I come back or when I have money? I will pay you back. She will say, she will tell you no. I say, ah, but I'm the one that gave you the money. It's now. my money. It's my money. I'm the one that, I will still give you back the money. You understand? She will say no, that she, uh, she even bought this one. She bought this one. She, they always, when you look, at, they when you look at those, when you look at those things, because you might, you don't know what, what um, the price is at the market. You're not saying, okay. But to your, to my greatest surprise, you still see um uh, 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 Chidema. Uh, uh, there is this uh, somebody downstairs. There is uh, I bought um, something of so so amount of money or I did transfer. Sometimes you look at her phone, you see a message will beep because maybe you are close to the phone. You look at the phone and you see maybe she did uh, she paid money to somebody what she bought about fifty thousand. But I said you said you don't have money just to borrow me money. But this money is as in this money is our money. It's, it's, not not even, it's not even like you're asking her to borrow money from her money. It's even complicated yes. that you're saying borrow money from our money. If you didn't even want to give me that money, Seth. Okay, borrow me Just that borrow money. Just borrow me that money, I uh, guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> still borrow me the money, she will still say no. So, you know, in all those things, um, I never believe that all those things will happen. And uh, uh, my brother, a lot of things. Yeah. Okay, now yes. that all this has happened, uh, right? So, if we have to go back in time, trying to know these things do you think you would want to get to a level of understanding of these things before you really choose to get married or now that you're married do you think like ah, even though i don't know those things it's still worth it so I, I, for me i feel it goes both ways yeah either way it works is either you know it now the, the most important thing is that the man first of all is open to learning Okay. Because marriage is, you know, my um, I remember when I was the day I got, you know, when I was doing marriage counseling, my pastor then told me something. He said marriage is the only institution that you you go into first and you are given a certificate, certificate because you, don't you can't graduate. graduate. Yeah, yeah. So you don't graduate. it's an so endless you, journey. Yes, you keep, you keep learning every day. You keep learning. It's not like a university that is stipulated four years, um, secondary school six years. This one marriage is until either one person is tired or both of you are tired or one person dies or you so in, in, so in other words there's never going to be that level of um readiness that no. you say okay this person has come to oh by all standard is ready to get married he can withstand everything it's going yes. to be that each marriage is going to teach you something that if you are willing to learn you just keep learning yeah because come to think of it you are to- we are talking from experiences that we have with our spouses 
current current, spouses. Okay. So we're not, uh, it's possible that if the tables were turned and I was married to Benjamin's wife, what he might be experiencing might not be what I'm experiencing. And if I was married to his wife, it might be, it it could be, it it could, yeah, it could be a different thing. So whatever we are saying as regard, okay, what I wish I knew is not going to be a general knowledge of what should be for marriage. Yes. It's going to be be on your own marriage. Yes. This is the things I think if I known, it would have made my own marriage better. Better, yes. Mm -hmm. If I, if I would even say something else, you know, (laughs) our, our women are like softwares. Uh Uh-huh. You understand? Mm-hmm. They keep they keep so upgrading. Uh, you understand? <laughs> it, you know, one is. one can one can so one can easily better. one can easily say men are like this. Mm. Men are always Do you know that? You can you can easily say Nah, man, man are just like this. Nah, man men, men are just like this. You understand? I know which I would do a man. That's why it's 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 always in the mouths of women. See, men, no men, man. Are, I know man, men are just like because yeah. we are like this straight. We are straight. You understand? When it comes to women, you. In the next five years, I could I could put it to you that the same woman you know now who starts you know bringing out or start giving birth to some characters, you'll be wondering, ah uh-uh, ah, where is this one coming from? You understand? They keep updating. So it's not just like, like your it's phone, not like she has changed. It's just like, like just, just like you, to remain you, a woman. You, just like you feel now, you already know, know your phone. You know everything about your phone, and they will just send you. It's just people. You just wake click up one morning and just say, to upgrade to, to the upgrade latest version. Of- latest, and you yeah. click it, and, ah, yeah, and the call log is not here again. <laughs> it's here. You get. So women are just like that. Ah, mm-hmm. So what I would say is, you can actually, you know, study it. You can actually, you know, uh, you say, okay, I've shined or already, no... already. I wish I really, really kind of know it like this before enter. Because if you still enter, that thing you wish you knew and you prepared for, when you enter, you know that that is even the beginning of what you wished you never knew. Mm. You understand? Okay. Um. In addition to that, you know, there is one thing I, I, I really want us to understand. In time of relationship, the characters, the characters or uh, um, behaviors men and uh, women portrays during relationship it's not the same thing during well, that was yeah i was going to ask that question you know, right obviously. you know in this place <laughs> like i said earlier i know these guys i know that yeah. and i can really say but i know you've courted your wife for a long time the yeah, same with you years. yours was eight years Please, exactly. can we put the camera on this man's face? Like eight years. Like, this guy is already married. <laughs> he's my his ancestors. <laughs> the, this guy is the this, assistant. This guy was already married before I became married. <laughs> so, and this other man here, yeah, how many years? Five years and three months. Yeah. With your now wife. So, you yeah. were together five years before yeah. you now officially become husband and wife. Yeah. So, is there anything you would want to say in this period of five years or in this period of eight years that you thought you? actually know about your wife that when you get married you eventually ah i think i know this baby that kind of scenario where like i know i'm a person me and i don't do it yes that kind of thing and you get married and you're like wow you are shocked is there any kind of scenario like um, that you know not really i remember before when we were cutting um my mother-in-law loves me a lot mm-hmm. you're yeah. the in-law now <clears throat> yeah Five years. Uh, you know, uh, apart from I'm already in law, there are um, the other men. Like when we are even caught in safe, I was there when one guy came. The guy was like, wants to get married they to want my to wife. Take it. I follow even chop the food safe <laughs> that they served. You know, so this it was, really it was later when I asked, say, you didn't, oh, I you didn't, didn't even know the food they are I I ate of achara. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. It was later. I was asked, who are those people? Was it Said the, ah, the the guy is from their side. Who, uh, the guy came to tell the parents that they, they want to he wants to marry. Ah, uh-huh. my mother-in-law now asked, um, ne, uh, you know this? I uh, know he wants to. He said no, I don't. I'm not ready. Yeah, I can't. I have somebody already. He has been disturbing me, and, uh, and you were sitting there. No, it was letter. <laughs> okay. After knowing what happened, you know, understand. You have so, welcomed them as mm-hmm. in-law. Yeah. And so you didn't my, know welcoming them as in-law. Yeah. Even though you are in touch. <laughs> then my mother-in-law called me. My mother-in-law, you know, mothers, they know their children. Definitely. Yeah. They know their children very, very well. Even though you cannot love this person more than this person because it's going to be a problem. A problem, yes. Yeah. You cannot. Uh, my mother-in-law called me and said, ah, your wife is a very good person now. Yeah. As in, she has a very good behavior, but your wife is a temperamental person. Stubborn person. Yeah. 
she's not really stubborn but when you know she's stubborn is you say this thing you want to uh, do it and she said no you cannot i remember some of us that used to come to come to me then and said are you sure you marry this man asked me yes, that question. I, I did he said are you sure I you did. can marry auntie chile? chile i was like i did i said ah, only around with you now because <laughs> then we have this we have this <laughs> and they were like, we kind, see of, like they she's, kind of she's a principled person she have she's stand an authority and said that's say good be that's say good be ah. A lot of I know about two other people again that asked me questions that time. So my mother-in-law told me those things that time because I know the kind of person she is. So I was you prepared your mind yeah. already. And then when my dad was alive, there are some things my dad always tell us. When you are caught, there are some things you you check on women. Number one is temperamental issues. Check when you give them money, then how they their spend management, their, their money management. Yeah. So which I did. I did then and I saw those things so I didn't really see no changes she so just is mm-hmm. even some upgrade, upgrade. Like, yeah some like, so, upgrade. like software the software upgrade <laughs> <laughs> so in addition to what he said this is my wife for eight years yeah there were a whole lot of things I tested out with so I used to think that Nami Sabi Vex pass Baba my wife Vex nah as in my wife my wife doesn't get angry but when she gets angry you will know <laughs> like a bottled up you anger will know. like yeah, you will know you will see you will see <laughs> and you go <will> feel <laughs> the young guy is visible you go <laughs> you go feel him now getting married is like that was deleted right so we knew how to manage that yeah. another thing again you said something about money i tested out with something she didn't know. I just woke up one day. I said, oh, okay. I like smelling good. I love perfumes. I can use six perfumes. I said, okay, fine. Um, I was the one that used to buy her perfumes. Do you understand? And I said, okay, I want to, I want us to do this perfume. Let's come up with a name. We did come up, we came up with a name, came up with a business name. I said, okay, I'm going to invest so and so amount in this business. Um, go and do it. Forgetting that this person is not really a perfume person, you understand? Not that she uses perfumes, but to know a Christian Dior, this she doesn't, bro. In two months, and I'm not exactly, I'm not saying this because it's a podcast or something. In two months, my wife tripled that money, and my wife was the one telling me, Oh, have you heard about this paper? I was just looking at her and I was amazed. So she was diligent wow. with this, wow. she was diligent. That so was put into that her. alone was a deal that said, Okay, this is somebody that you should have in your home. Because I know some people, and I know some of my friends then that would say, "You give my, you gave your girlfriend this money, and they could not account for it." This one was I accounted, and I saw, and she tripled. So if that was like a deal breaker for you, are you saying, um, in essence, like if those little tests you gave to her wasn't really passed the way you have prepared, is because you have a script? No, no, it, no, 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 no. It wasn't like a script. Yeah, it wasn't like these were things that she needed to pass for her to be my wife. No, it was. A subconscious thing that happened. Yeah, Do you understand? Normally. You just tested, so you In just gave somebody yeah. money, and the person tripled the money. Of that already, no more like because one thing about yeah, yeah, because one thing about life here, yeah, I've come so, to so understand. Now, wait, so wait, like, because now, like no you are even things, testing her. No other things. Like, mm. We are guys. Eh? Mm-hmm. Thank God there's no lady here because sometimes we always want to put ourselves in the defense. So because a lady will say the same thing and it could be an, it could be offensive. Like, eh, and you test that guy. He's stingy. He's not even. You know, they even give person money. He's not even giving money. So you are trying yeah, to say, they always say that. directly or indirectly, there were some hidden tests that you said for your wife. Yes, yes, that definitely. If she hadn't passed those tests, probably would have really make you not go forward with the whole marriage. Yeah, I think possibly yes. But you should understand something again is you don't just put somebody. That's why you say is a test. When you when somebody when you put somebody on the test and the person fails it, you don't give up on the person. You try so it again. Yeah. So you yeah. can because if you're testing somebody for something that you will fail, it is unfair. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, when I when I the, my wedding day, you know, um, Mr. Guchwe Hibe was my is it father of the chairman. Chairman. Yeah. There's something he told me before, I think Friday before, no, Thursday before our he was the one that made me to understand that uh, marriage is an institution that you continue. The only thing that will break you is death. Yes. Yeah understand that whenever you enter there there are things you will continue to see okay you know now yes. you married now maybe when you are cutting when you are dating your wife will not tell you you are mad or you are stupid 
Okay, what if you when you're not married? Maybe that time she will be tell you. Yeah. But now, she's not but now she's not you, because anywhere. yes, because yeah. now you are married. You are there, you don't have sense. You are stupid. Get out here. Get out. Yes, you understand. Oh, of course. Oh, well, because wait, 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 let's let's be realistic here. I'm not married. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, what yeah. happened when your wife tell you that? Like, has there been instances that your wife really look at you in your face and say, "Guy, I get out of my face." Bro, uh, if she, <laughs> what, what are you saying? Yes, now. <laughs> many she's times she will say it now. Many times. So how do you handle that? You don't handle it. Yeah, it you don't handle like, it. For, it just, it just happens. It no happen. It no happen. Uh, it no happen. For, for real, exactly. just like <laughs> if I can pick what uh, I exactly. No, yeah. I feel pick watching a maker talk. Then you mm. understand? You know, when you ask that first question, what I wish I knew. Exactly. Forget it. He, he, he said something about how to handle issue. He, he wishes okay, yes. knew how to so, handle exactly, issues yes. before. The way you handle issue when you are cutting is totally a different, different. ball game. <laughs> exactly. When you are married, though. Huh. All right. So because you know, um, when you are when you are cutting when you are cutting, you know, no. you know, uh, see, um, when you are cutting, there is this uh, everything is mindset kind of. Mm-hmm. You understand? When you are cutting, our our girlfriend then our wife now our girlfriend then used it to be they be like uh, they have this mindset of I feel lose this guy. So now, mm-hmm. now that so they are conscious of let me that sixty or seventy percent of their behaviors is on the side of let me let me favor this guy let me let you know let me be loyal to this guy exactly. so that he don't he doesn't kick me off and marry the because even at then they will still be seeing you following following some other girls they won't fight you then my brother they won't fight you then they'll be telling you uh uh-uh, why are you always following this girl now leave right. they'll be t- talking to you as if you say ah this my babe really? makes sense exactly. so try then, it then it's going to be like Leave all these guys that is disturbing hey, you. See, I'm it's it's you. because they know you are a very nice person. I'm, That's why they are troubling you. Hey. Then now, when you're not married, it's not going to be all these guys that you are following. Not this guy. You will say, my brother just got married. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. There is <laughs> there is this thing I want to. I want just got married. So Let me not say anything. They were disturbing you. But now that you're married, yeah. all these guys that you are when, disturbing. When, when that 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 cutting time, they will be like in this kind of. They are saving you. Please now, don't there, do this now. Trouble outside. Hey, I'm here sorry. now. I'm, I'm the peace. That you but when you are married, eh, you hug, give just you mistakenly more. hug one outside. They will lock you outside. <laughs> you stay there outside. Have you, have you ever been locked outside? Okay. Uh, okay. I've never been married. My brother. Prepare your okay. mind towards um, all this before lunching. Okay, yeah. Um, I think the, um, <laughs> the thing that <laughs> happened to me, you know, when I... This kind of person, you, I are lock, you ask somebody to lock you outside. What no, you, uh, actually, she didn't lock me outside. Um, I'm this kind of person, I play a lot. You know, then in PYC choir, you know, because you may see some of your choir distinct members, you are playing with them. You get back home, uh, she's frowning in her face and say, Oh, did you go to the and you go? Yeah, because you know, this kind of play, you have to stop it. The way you go close to, especially this person. So there's and always, you have this particular there's person always, that they, always they have don't. Them. So like they don't as if you as if like that, that is targeting antelope. They don't like that person, and that person now happens to like you. So it's like I ate her, she okay. likes you. Okay. And okay, let me tell you something. You know, when a woman sees like your voice is coming down. When, <laughs> <laughs> when a woman sees a, a fellow woman, eh, like a wife now sees a fellow woman that you know uh, uh, they has this kind of you Finish. know and uh, uh, yeah, yeah. they see it as ah. Yeah. Uh, the threat. Yes. Threat. Threat. Red light. Red light. This is as a, as a threat. <laughs> red light. You know that. Ah, red light. <laughs> we will, uh, this girl take come close to my husband like this. And all those. Another time she even say, if you don't take time, I will go and warn her. So it's better you. Warn her so, by yourself, or I warn her for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I understand. So, but I, I, I saw it that. Uh, let's let you know uh, when you marry. Except maybe the woman doesn't love you. You know, uh, like when we are dating, is jealous. Jealous is love. Do you know that jealous is love? Do you, do you, do you? Jealous is love. Uh, kind of, I, mean, I don't a, think a I agree with that so really into two. Why you because somebody agree? who. Jealous being love. So, yes, yeah, somebody who. Is, is it, is it in all aspects? So or yes. you narrow it uh-huh. down to like, okay, in this particular in way, jealous aspects. could be love. Uh-huh. Okay, let, let me say some aspects. Yes, uh-huh. Uh-huh. better. Like now. Because I know jealousy can lead to somebody killing. Uh-uh. Yes. Jealousy can kill. So if you say jealous, jealousy is love. Kill. Yes. I can be actually be jealous of one's wealth and 
I will kill the person. Brother can be jealous of that is okay. not brother. Okay. Let okay. me okay. so let, let, let me so not say jealous because, is not love. Let me not say because let's, uh, not, that, let's not digress with that because that's okay, going to really right, take us right. to a lot of okay. angle. We're that's talking about things truth. that we wish we knew before we get married, right? Okay. So now I haven't said all this in see, this is a whole lot of a lot of information you guys are already putting here. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's one thing the make us that I really like that you don't really need to be hundred percent ready before you get to marriage. Mm-hmm. That that process will teach you. Yeah. So I want to think that that's what I'm taking out of this whole episode. That marriage is something that you just need to be matured enough to understand that there's going to be a lot of learning, unlearning, a lot of new things. Yeah, and once you are open up to new ideas, you just will survive, right? So on this very note, we are going to Sorry, come to Mr. the Victor, end of this. When are you going to get married? Yeah. So on this very important, Mr. Victor, <laughs> when are you getting married? We can't get married. We, are, we can't, also. I can't get married on no, this on podcast. This, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, have, yeah. you have mind, though. We you can also inspire you. three able-bodied married men. Mm. You okay. actually, you are, you are very, you are very. You know, you know, you know what? Um, my father used to say. He say a child that the parents sent don't try to. Not child. Don't try to. Don't try to pose. You know, <laughs> just it's answer. Not, answer. What, I think I'm asking this question on behalf of. Yes, the married, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Committee. Yeah, married committee. committee. Mm. When when are you getting ready? I'm trusting the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh. Victor, go on with your show. <laughs> All right. Okay. So on this very uh, important note that we come to the end of um today's um episode of the first season of our very 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 see i'm so excited to really announce this i really wish i could see this for a long time yeah. podcast now that you're married but before we leave let me just have one passing word from each person just one thing you want everybody to take out of this uh, all right uh, for me i would really say um everything is in god's hands uh if you're out there you're still single um don't be scared of getting married uh because um uh, once sugar might be another person's salt so don't actually say ah now well, with all these things these guys are saying i think i will not get married though no you could you might actually have a very sweet and very wonderful one and you know and that's just uh, just go into it life is a risk marriage is a risk everything risk just so, choose your uh, own poison just right? choose your poison and, uh, and add salt on it <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also you you marry someone you love and uh, you know some of us because of maybe when you're single because of what you see that this person is passing through mm-hmm. you say yeah uh, uh, if this is the way people are facing in their marriage or what they are seeing in their marriage i'm not going to get married no we, we, people should see it that way yeah exactly. you just get married to god who if you say god, uh, god said in the bible they say them a man that finally the wife finally a good thing mm-hmm. I, I it's one of the word i believed when I immediately I got married, I, I saw it working. And it started manifesting. Mm. Yeah, so once you get married, things will start working. So that's just... So drive. Yeah, so for me, I, I feel, um, to add to whatever that person has said, just stay true to yourself. Uh-huh. Be man, be woman, because that's the most... Um, apart from God, apart from God and His divine intervention, if you go into a relation any relationship be it even financial relation any relationship at all yeah. and you start with a lie you have to turn ten thousand lives yeah. to keep up to keep with up, one yeah. lie yeah. but if you tell because many guys and many ladies are going into things and they say what they are not yeah. do you the understand the yeah it's key the starting matter is key let a lady know that uh, i just stay one room more uh i don't get card now yeah they walk that's how they do let her know let her Build the expectation because the truth of is course. that there might even be some lady that like one room naturally. Yeah. So you lie that you are saying she <laughs> might even turn her off already. Because, because if you if you if you want it, that would be my that would be my mom. No, there are some ladies that. Eh, that that's what I'm saying. That would be my ex- mom. They have then wrong experience of a duplex, so they already don't use this yeah. to to give yourself up. That would be my. You won't <laughs> find such lady now. <laughs> God bless you. Continue. Sorry, I'm sorry to cut you. Just, so, uh, um, my own is. Stay true to yourself, right, so. uh, yeah. man. Thank you. Man, Welcome. woman, don't pretend. Be natural and make sure that you seek God. Be you Christian, yeah. be you Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Any, make sure you put God in it because if you don't, that's why. And I, and I keep saying it. That is why many marriages are being attacked crashing. now. Are crashing. You yes. see someone with. There was a wedding. I'm a photographer. There was a wedding I shot. They got married in December. No. 
We got married in June. I'm, I'm broke up. I think next year, I told you, year. next year August. That's, that's yes, definition of long, a short time relationship. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a summarized wedding. <laughs> okay, my own parting word will be uh, is a question. What do you go for? Do you love the woman you? Do you love the woman you marry, or do you marry the woman you love? love. <laughs> Which do you think it is? So food, food, food for thought. Uh, is that a food for thought? Take away. Food, food for thought. Yes. Okay, yeah, so let's hear your comments on the comment section. Yeah, do you love a woman yeah. you marry? Or do you marry the woman that you love? Yeah. See, we see again. Remain blessed and stay marriageable. Peace. Yeah. Thank Peace. you.